What looks like a parked giant spaceship is Apple's new HQ, remarkably named Apple Park. This sensational architecture sprawls across 176 acres of land and might just be one of the most stunning office buildings in the world. Fittingly named Apple Park, the new headquarters for the tech giant cost an astounding $5 billion. Well, it's not surprising to see the reason for that when you check out everything the structure has to offer. Apple Park contains the world's largest naturally ventilated building, a 2.8 million square foot spaceship-shaped building called The Ring. It also boasts one of the largest on-site solar energy installations in the world. But those are just some of the things inside this stunning 5 billion headquarters. Join us as we explore the mind-blowing Apple Park. Built in Cupertino, California, Apple Park is constructed on 176 acres and it took eight years to go through the planning up to the construction of the structure. And as soon as in 2017, 12,000 Apple employees began working from this spaceship. Usually, placing a spaceship-like structure in the middle of a city would be quite unusual, but Apple made effort into making the alien architecture seamlessly fit into the environment. They did this by planting more than 9,000 trees and allowing the buildings to only take up around 20% of the 176 acres. Although the building is quite immense, it makes up for it by being eco-friendly. Steve Jobs requested that the campus be made more like a nature refuge than an office park. So, about 80% of Apple Park is green space that has been planted with indigenous plants and drought-resistant trees. But Steve Jobs wasn't the only billionaire with care for eco-friendly and self-sustainable buildings. The same mentality was adopted by Amazon's Jeff Bezos in the construction of their second headquarters, called The Pen Place, which is expected to be completed by 2025. The project has two to five acres of green space and would emphasize sustainability, including environmentally friendly buildings that maximize natural light and greenery. Without a doubt, Apple Park is a pace setter in the change to eco-friendly and sustainable buildings. But let's discuss the main building in Apple Park, called The Ring. This futuristic spaceship-like building is big enough for over 12,000 of Apple's employees and is part of over 176 acres of land. The structure is so large that it would take about 15 minutes to do an entire lap of it. But you wouldn't mind the walk, thanks to the spectacular views of the outside provided by the 36 to 47 foot long curved glass panels. Having these panels allows for a smooth and broad view of the outdoor landscape. The ring also houses Cafe Max, a singular 58,000 square foot restaurant that will allow employees to be together and collaborate even on break times. Cafe Max has four storey tall sliding glass doors taking the title for the largest sliding glass doors in the world. The restaurant even has its own Apple patented pizza box that prevents pizza crusts from getting soggy. According to the restaurant staff, they have enough food to feed up to 15,000 people every lunchtime. And workers don't have to worry about fruit since the structure is dotted with large orchards that supply fruit for the cafeterias. But despite Apple's desire to make the structure as free-flowing as possible, Employees were still quite unsatisfied with the design. Many employees wrote to tech journalist John Gruber explaining their dissatisfaction with the open working environment. They were allegedly unhappy about the lack of privacy and that the glass doors were easy to crash into when distracted. Self-sustainable energy has been the theme of megastructures like Amazon's pen place and Apple didn't take this topic lightly. The Ring is home to one of the largest rooftop solar farms generating up to 17 megawatts of power, enough to meet up to 75% of the campus's energy demand in peak times. The rest of the campus's needs are met by the on-site fuel cells that are powered by natural gas or biofuel. As well as all of that, they also use low-energy LEDs. Underneath, The Ring makes use of base isolation, one of the few buildings in the world to do so. Base isolation protects the ring against the worst of earthquakes, with 692 stainless steel plates to allow the building to shift up to four feet in any direction without causing any structural damage. Apple has made it key that their 12,000 employees at Apple Park live a healthy lifestyle. The grounds of Apple Park 
have 3.2 kilometers of walking and running trails as well as 1,000 grey bikes that can be used. Other facilities include a fitness and wellness centre and a handful of basketball and tennis courts. The 100,000 square foot fitness and wellness centre itself consists of changing rooms, showers, laundry services, team workout rooms and a two-storey yoga studio. Going even deeper, the building consists of expansive two-storey parking finished with reflective white tiles and dome ceilings, not to mention the integrated traffic lights that can be found along the street signs working seamlessly together. But despite the already large space reserved for greenery, Apple was willing to sacrifice transportation for more green space. The road network is purposely hidden underground and from sight to allow for the green space to remain an open bliss. By doing this, Apple has been able to not disturb the landscape too much and keep as much greenery as possible. This was their main goal with the building, after all. Also underground is the super impressive Steve Jobs Theatre. To get to the almost 1,000-seat auditorium, one would have to use a 42-foot chemically tempered glass elevator. Not just a regular elevator. This one is considered to be the largest freestanding glass elevator on Earth and rotates as it moves up or down, allowing it to only need a singular door. Now, moving outside of the ring, there are two of the best research and development facilities, a care clinic and the visitor's centre. Well, if you're looking to visit Apple Park, the visitor's centre is the only building on the campus visitors can enter without a pass. It comprises of four separate sections, a 2,000 square foot cafe, a 10,000 square foot Apple store, an observation deck and a designated AR experience area. Apple also added an artificial pond made perfectly circular just like the ring. A rainbow structure is also placed at the head of the rectangular field designed by former chief design officer at Apple, Jonathan Ive. The structure is often used as a stage for speakers and performers. But perhaps the most iconic structure in the entire Apple Park is something quite unlikely, called the Glen Denning Barn. The barn was not part of Apple's original plans, but because it was built in 1916, it was already classified as historical in 2004, so Apple could not demolish it even if they wanted to. So, Apple agreed to use the barn as a maintenance building to house tools and other landscaping materials. Between the ring, plentiful recreation centers and the iconic Steve Jobs Theater, Apple Park may just be the most spectacular headquarters ever seen and surely gets the interest of both potential employees and the media alike. Well, if this video got your interest, why not subscribe to our channel? Also, don't forget to comment and like the video.